Alsema CG035, how to calibrate the gyroscope. The program it is H-O-H-E-M, uh, version pff, like a point zero one, <laughs> something like that, whatever. But this one is the good one I found and solved my problem. I found it at uh, dronemaniac.com, so go ahead, check on the description below, you will see the link, and you go straight over there and download it, and we'll be able to calibrate your drone. Okay guys, after download it, make sure no virus, no thread, whatever, use your anti-virus. Double check it twice, whatever, how many times you want. Choose uh, any file place to download it to make sure you know where is your downloaded. But when you ready to go, click in your uh, program, the windows, you will try to block it, saying that is uh, something unknown program or unknown uh, suspicious act or whatever so you must go to the more info and with the more info we'll be able to allow the windows to run it so do it if you don't you not reach the place you're looking for <clears throat> so when we have the program running for the very first time the windows is not going to ask again so don't worry the very first time when you run it shows your drone like a some uh, number like a serial number drive number uh, hardware number whatever so i disconnect it from the micro usb from my quad and then disappeared all information Reconnect it again, and after that, I can see the my quad back on the windows, uh, and I will see the all information about my my quadcopter. <clears throat> that is very important to know: is don't touch if you don't know what is going on. So I did it. So I saw the numbers and the software version, whatever. I, it's nothing to do. I click in the very first uh, Chinese windows over here and shows me a lot of things like changing the pitch, row, yaw, different things. So, in fact, I don't know what that anyone means over here. Each bar has different things. I just keep it and then they keep going forward. I know we can change things, but without any knowledge about that the Chinese means, and I just make sure my quad, it is the second one with the blue ring and jump to the third one. When I was over here, I saw my crazy numbers, like uh, no identification, how high, how far, uh, the battery information or the battery protection, whatever, we just uh, needed to change those numbers if they are crazy. Mine, I can change the max altitude return to 25 meters, or if we ask like a uh, feet, it is a 75. But guys, try to see everything in metric system because this program is in metric. So 120 meters is 400 feet, uh, 300 meters far, it is a thousand feet. Uh, battery, it is the battery is already reading. And over here, I changed the protection battery because I don't believe in batteries. So you can change the protection. Uh, like I say, 6.8, 6.9 is safe for two cell batteries. So nominal 7.4, it is the better when you just uh, 
keeping it without use. When it's a full charge, it's 8.4, 8.3.2, you can fly safe till 6.8, 6.7 or 6.6, .6, sometimes drop it and then fall from the sky. You will crash it on the floor. So whatever you want to do, that's about yourself, about your quad and the risk you want to run. So going forward, it is the very important thing I saw over here, is how to calibrate my controller. So when I saw that for the very first time, I saw some weird uh, red colors for the right or the left. But when I start change or moving the joysticks on the right or on the left, I saw those bar is changing also. So let's see. So to the right, to the left. So that's is okay. Looks fine for me. Like a turn a right, turn a left, to whatever. Forward, backward. I, I I was changing the whole thing to to see what this graph means. But also we have a how to calibrate it. But to make sure we are calibrating in the right right direction or right way, I try to stabilize the all bars in the very possible center. The joysticks is not a too precise, so you can get some small mark over there, like a small red uh, for to the right or to the left when you're moving both, but you must to make sure you're in the right position when you click OK, uh, calibrate. When you click calibrate they ask you to make sure the all uh, joystick will be in the center so let's try to do in the very close to the center is possible so I, I almost a perfect brief see it's very very close so it's a little oh I got it so after clicking OK I will have a three seconds approximately to make the all change. So that means uh, joystick up, down, uh, in and out, whatever, uh, turning around, you will try to do your best and fastest as possible. Like right now, see that? Up, down, in, out, running around, whatever. And then the, the bars start moving. So they recognize it and almost to the end, but not totally. So that means I'm running at a whole, all, uh, or whole range to the joystick. So I have the full control with the mic quad when it's the, it is flying. So it's not a little bit, we, and that is, is I'm already on the end of the joystick. So that is helpful, but it's not yet the calibration for the gyroscope. So the gyro will be in the next window, and that's a little awkward for me to understand because I almost give up to try to do anything with the, this cop. I'm totally lost. I'm uh, ready to throw away because it was not flying perfectly. It was crazy to stabilize in the air. The GPS was not working perfectly because the gyroscope is like uh, the quad. It is bending too much to the right and is sliding so fast to the right. When I'm trying to push it or bring back to the left, not at all. So let's see what happened in the next windows. Right now, stabilize it because I did it. But I saw over here on the top, I have a how to configure the roll, the pitch, and the yaw. But that it is through the three axes. When I moved the quad, I saw, okay, it is, it is recognized. My base over here is a very flat and le level surface. So let's try to see if I can change something. But I... Everything's Chinese. So guys, if you, anyone knows or can help on the translation, please do it and send me over here. So I click here to see what's going on and then this appeared. Oh, so let's see what that can do. 
and I saw that here's some information about the, the those axes. So Y, X, Z, and that's okay. I'm not changing it manually because I don't know. So I try one thing and another. Finally, I discovered it will do by itself. So the very first thing I try and make sure I will have the yaw in zero. So that means almost point to the north. So when we have a north position, they'll, it's helped me to understand the program is trying to calibrate the whole thing, not only the zero, but probably the uh, identification about the GPS position, whatever. I click it on the very left side and they just uh, make a perfect level and I saw, oh, that is the one I want. I want all of them in zero. So when I have uh, the yaw, roll, and pitch in zero, that will be perfect for, for fly because that is, means they recognize that's the horizontal, the vertical, and the twisting to make sure the quad is not a pushing in a wrong direction without any calling from the control. So I'm happy because I found this option. And this button means probably right or save. I don't know that is Chinese, but uh, when I click it, I got uh, the program safe because when I'm close to this window right here, everything was in the same place. So I suppose, I guess that's the right one. So let's see outside how this one is going to run because you guys know that is the only thing we needed to see flying outside. So I'm happy for uh, dronemaniac.com to help us with that software. Let's see outside. Aquela coisa dele rodar no ponto de interessante. Vamos ver o que que acontece aqui. Vamos decolar. Vamos ver se funciona decolando aqui, ó, nas três teclas. Opa! Ó, já subiu. Tá mantendo a altitude. Não está deslizando nem para a direita nem para a esquerda. Tá perfeito, gente. Olha só. Sobe suavemente. Eu não quero subir muito, porque eu quero mostrar pra vocês o que aconteceu. Olha aqui, olha. Ele vai pra direita, ele vai pra esquerda, <risos> ele sobe bem. Vamos fazer agora outra função aqui, gente. Eu quero, eu quero fazer algumas funções, inclusive eu quero testar o retorno. Então deixa eu trazer ele aqui pra perto de mim, tirar ele pra mim. Vamos fazer aquela função dele ficar rodando em volta, né? Oh, olha ele aí, gente! Ok, vamos mudar a tecla. Ele entra na tal da posição, a gente vai com ele um pouquinho para trás. E vamos ver se ele roda, olha lá. Ele entra na posição e agora ele começa a rodar sozinho em volta de mim, gente. Olha só que beleza! Em volta de mim, gente, se eu tivesse uma câmera, ele estaria fazendo o... Ó, e eu posso subir, vou baixar ele, ou seja, se fosse uma filmagem, a gente vai fazer com a câmera, né? Eu trouxe a câmera, vamos fazer um teste antes que acabe a bateria. Vamos voltar para a posição normal, ele já estabilizou. Eu quero fazer o teste do retorno, vamos ver o retorno. Eu vou levar ele para longe, ó. Olha que velocidade, gente, foi embora. Então vamos supor que eu perdi o controle com ele, ele foi embora e eu chamo ele de volta. Aqui eu passei a tecla aqui do lado esquerdo, Ela tá, ele está no modo headless e olha só, lá vem ele. Ele provavelmente não vai posar aonde ele decolou, ele dá uma diferençazinha pequena. Vocês lembram que eu fiz aqui o meu L portozinho? Eu vou deixar ele posar para vocês verem ele aterrizando. Eu vou 